The complex situation affecting Canada's First Peoples are not unique to North and South America. It happens throughout the world wherever and whenever a market-oriented society imposes itself and its institutions upon a subsistence-oriented people, their tribal homelands, and traditional ways of doing things. Former Justice Thomas Berger in the Mackenzie River Pipeline Inquiry warned, I shall refer to the total intrusive effect of the industrial economy on native people. The native people are pushed or pulled into the industrial system. The process which is caused by several economic and social factors begins with the depreciation of a way of life and ends with the demoralization of a whole people. One of the most um, urgent issues confronting our contemporary society is the economic development and employment generation for Aboriginal peoples for obvious reasons. The rate of employment among our native peoples could be as high as 50 plus percent. We have looked at our traditional approaches to economic development and employment and in most cases I find that they haven't been as successful as was first thought and that uh, there must be some underlying set of reasons as to why this is the case. Well, what the hell went wrong because successive governments have given us programmers, whether they're Aboriginal or not Aboriginal, the money quite generously. They've given us dedicated staff despite what we've always said. We had the public will and most politicians agreed with it and yet we failed. So we have to understand is why did we fail? It's because we don't know as a society how to deal with the